can you tell me about that day? Like how long ago? Do you remember the day? And what? You know? Yeah, I remember it. I remember it really well. I was um, I'd gone out with Dr. George Ortel, and we were out um, on Fisherman Island across on the Eastern Shore. Um, showing some students some methods for how to take um, uh, beach profiles, measurements of the, of the beach face and, and the change in the beach over time. And to do that, you have to take these survey poles and stomp through the, the beach grasses. Mm -hmm. and, and this was in the summer, and so in the summer, those beach grasses are infested with ticks and chiggers. And so Dr. Ortel was really smart. He wore long pants and long shirt, and he knew the drill. And most of us went out there because it was hot in shorts. And so I came back and several of us came back and we were bitten up with ticks and chiggers. And I didn't think too much of it. You know, we had spent a few hours out there and um, I had one, I remember I had one tick bite in particular that got sort of red and swelled up, you know, maybe, maybe about that big. And I thought, you know, the idea of Lyme disease did cross my mind, but then nothing seemed to happen. I seemed fine. The swelling went down after a week or so. Target no, no real that. bullseye or anything. It was just a big and red, and so I thought, ah, it was just a little reaction. Um, and had actually was more concerned about the chiggers that I had for a couple weeks, which were horrible. Those those bites are like mosquito bites that last for weeks on end. Um, so I didn't really think anything else of it. Everything went away, and then it must have been about four weeks later, four or six weeks later. I think the first reaction I had, um, I had gone to a Mexican restaurant and I had maybe a steak taco. And the really unusual thing about this allergy is that nothing happens when you eat mammal meat right away. I could go with you and have a burger for lunch right now. Nothing at all would happen. About four hours or so later, your body digests this, the mammal protein into a very specific carbohydrate, and that's the thing that you're allergic to. So about four hours after eating this steak taco, I'm sitting on my couch at home, and I, my, what, what happens first is my heart rate goes from resting to about 200 beats per minute right away. 150 plus, 200, it, it's like I'm sitting but running a marathon at the same time. And then I know something's wrong, so I'm sitting on the couch, what is going on? I've never had anything like this happen to me before, was never allergic to anything before. And then um, my, my, my pulse is just beating out of my neck, I can feel it. And then I notice that I'm starting to get itchy and getting hives and I go in the, the bathroom and look in the mirror and my eyes are red and my face is red and my eyes get extremely bloodshot, like solid red bloodshot. Um, and I don't know what's happening, so I said, look, we have to go to the ER. I don't know what this, I have no idea what this is. I mean, how, um, how terrifying is it at that moment when... I was, yeah, it was shocking, because I had never ever experienced anything like that. I didn't have any friends or family with any significant allergies, and so I didn't even realize it was an allergic reaction. Um, so we go to the ER, and they identify it as alert. They look at you and say, that looks like an allergic reaction. And so they take you back and they, uh, the great thing about having this allergy when you go to the ER is there's no wait. The triage nurse looks at you immediately and says, you, we, we, gotta, we have to get you back there right now um, because they know that it's life threatening. And so you get taken in and then they, they, they give you an IV with um, steroids, epinephrine, um, much like the EpiPen, but it's in, in, intervene, it's an IV and, um, and something else. And it's kind of this cocktail that calms the allergic reaction down over the, over the span of like an hour or two. And so after you're done with all this, all that medication, uh, you feel like you've, you really do feel like you've run a marathon. You're completely exhausted. And it's all half transpired in the span of from the time the reaction started until the time they've calmed you down in the ER. It's only a couple hours if you go quickly. So it's, it's pretty wild.